<laughs> happy, happy, happy day number six of our Law, and Attra Law of Attraction Challenge. Abiola here, and it is, as I said, day six of our Manifesting March Law of Attraction Challenge. Have you been playing along? All right, so day number one was all about, and, and if you just follow the days, follow each and every day of this challenge, you're going to manifest your miracles. You're going to allow something great to flow into your life. So day number one, what do you want? Day one, step one to manifestation. What do you want? Day two, step two, why do you want it? Day three, step three, how do you want to feel about it? Day four, so let's see, what do you want? Why do you want it? How do you want to feel? Day four was, I believe, was it detaching? No. Wait, day one, what do you want? <laughs> day two, why do you want it? Day three, how do you want to feel? Day four, I believe it was the power of asking for it. Yes, ask, ask, ask. Did you ask? And day five yesterday was all about releasing non-attachment, releasing attachment to outcome. So today, day six is a different kind of releasing, a different kind of letting go. Today is about letting go of clutter, clutter that is in your life. That's why I'm standing near some of my bookcases <laughs> because it is all about letting go of clutter. Physical clutter, which we can see, things that we don't know, we no longer need in our lives, books, clothes, whatever, but also relationship clutter. Are there relationships clogging up your life? App, digital clutter. Do you have apps on your phone and email that is clogging up your life? Whatever we own owns us. Hello, Goddess Rosie. Everything that we own owns us. And so, for example, with the goddesses who are coming with me on the Goddess of Paris, Miracles and Manifesting Retreat, Bali was amazing, Belize was crazy amazing, and the French retreat is going to be through the roof, so you should definitely come, goddessofparis.com. But for the goddesses who are coming with me, I'm going to have them, I'm going to ask them to do a declutter of their lives before they even come to the retreat. So then you are, when you declutter, when you make, when you release what is not serving you in your life, not bringing you joy, as Marie Kondo would say, then you are making room for the things that you want to create, the things that you want to manifest. And they say that nature hates a vacuum. Nature can't stand a vacuum. So you create a vacuum, a sacred vacuum, by releasing the things that no longer serve you. Those books, those clothes, those tchotchkes, that paperwork, all of that stuff. And then you go deeper with the digital clutter and the emotional clutter. Emotional clutter, yes. Things that are unexpressed, things that you want to say to somebody, confrontations and conversations that need to be had. Emotional clutter. We are energetically communicating with all of this stuff. And if we want to manifest, if we want to get to the point where, you know, closer time between where we think of something that we are wanting to invite into our lives that we want to co-create and the time that it shows up in our lives, that starts with letting go of clutter. So it is the perfect day to do a declutter, at least to start a physical declutter, to walk through your space, to start to release the things that no longer serve you. Let me know how your declutter process is going and if you're not already hanging out with us in the Facebook goddess group at imanifestmagic.com imanifestmagic.com come on over do this challenge together with us I firmly believe that you can manifest miracles I have manifested miracles come manifest manacle miracles <laughs> with me on this free 28 day challenge and come manifest miracles with me at the goddess of paris retreat if it's calling you it's calling you say yes to yourself all right 
I gotta go declutter, get my declutter on. I started my day with my yoga. In from yoga it is time to begin to make room for the things that I am wanting to invite into my life. And just so you know, decluttering is not easy for some of us. Some people are minimalists, good for you. I am a maximalist. I am from a family of quote unquote pack rats um, where clutter is, you know, a lot of like my group, my parents had hundreds of books in the house, you know, and that sort of thing. And so we got to just be able to release these things. Okay. All right, my love. So I'm just letting you know, I know it's not always easy. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you 10 a.m. Sunday, Eastern Standard Time at Abiola TV on Facebook and Instagram for Goddess Temple Sunday, where we'll be continuing our Law of Attraction Challenge. Declutter, 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 declutter. <laughs> Bye.